Good day again everyone and welcome back along to the penultimate team naming of the Global Rugby Challenge season number four. It is semi-final number two between the Pacific Toa and the Corn Flakers coming your way in 24 hours time. This time tomorrow evening there will be just two teams remaining and one of the two sides facing up tomorrow will go on to face the Celtic Dragons in the grand final of the Global Rugby Challenge. Today we're having a look at the 2.15s starting for our next matchup and it's been a while since we've seen the Pacific Toa in action so some of these guys have been out for a number of weeks but they have gone with a very strong starting lineup for the team that finished second in the regular season with a nine win, three loss record and some impressive displays throughout the season as well. The last time we've seen them was in round 12 when they faced off against Leinster in a close three-point victory in that final matchup of the regular season. They had the bye in round 13, of course, didn't need to play a quarter final, went straight to tomorrow's matchup, which is the semi-final against the Flankers. So let's have a look at their team. Starting off with the front row, it will be at loose head props, Sinaleki Kavalu at hooker, Samisi, Lincoln, Atomai, and Fetu Tipu will line up at tight head. Into the second row, Andre Lambrex will line up alongside Ryan Webb in the locks with Conrad Febe starting a blindside. Tama Bailey at open and Ross Cameron completing the pack at number eight. Jim Ali Gino will captain the team from scrum half and your partner Hinko Fayard in the halves with Fayard moving to 10. Bob Jeffrey and Dean Mumberg, the experienced midfield combination, return to 12 and 13 yet again with Max Hansen keeping his number 11 jumper. Tom Barrett moving across to the right and Daryl Gray taking that fullback jumper. That is your Toa team to take on the Flakers who have been in much, much more action over the last couple of weeks than their upcoming opponents. They, of course, had to play in round 13 and it was, well, a disappointing draw to the Guardians of the Crypt. 21-21, they finished their regular season. Then they had to come along and play the All Flakes, which that was an extra time thriller that ended 31-24 to the Flakers. 80 minutes could not separate those two sides. They had to go even longer to find a victor. And that sees the Flakers move in to semi-final rugby. Their team is unchanged yet again. And why would you? They've performed well throughout the latter part of the season, throughout the whole season. Really, this is second versus third in the overall ladder. So their team starting off again. Front row, Robert Peeler Luce, Peter Matthews at hooker, and Zaza Kukulska on the tight end side. Chris Smith and Roy Filkins again line up in the second row. Frederick Loeb, Francois Valentine, and Cullen Wilson are the back row. Bernard Ankerhan will be at nine with Tina Mahande lining up at fly half. Adrian Townsend and Captain Pierre Valentine will line up in midfield with Prince Barnes Williamson, the elusive left winger, starting again in that number 11 jumper. In 14, Luca Moscow on the right hand side and Josh Walpole completes the team in 15. This is a side that know how to win. Season 1 champions looking to get their crown back. They've already defeated the defending champions. Now they look to take out the new boys. The Toa are waiting and so are we. Semi-final number 2 is coming tomorrow night. 24 hours time. It'll be live and ready to go. So make sure you're there ready for the action. Until kickoff. thanks for coming by. Good luck to those playing and we'll see you tomorrow. Until then, take care.